Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good Friday evening. I'm Cody Alcorn. Definitely cooling down out there. We'll check in with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent in just a moment to see how cool we'll get and a sneak peek at your weekend as well. Right now at FoxCarolina.com, we're following several developing stories. A lot of election news. As you can see, the countdown clock there, 17 days and 10 hours until the election. I'll have more on that in just a moment. But here locally, I can tell you this. The Simpsonville Police and Greenville County Coroner are investigating a homicide that happened at Stillwater apartments on Grandview Drive. This is where 21 year old Martin Effendi was found shot to death just before one o'clock this morning. As of tonight, no suspect has been identified. No motive has been released in this homicide. All we know is when Simpsonville police got on scene, they found Effendi shot to death at his apartment there along Grandview Drive. If you have any information on this deadly shooting, you're being asked to call Simpsonville police or Crime Stoppers at 1-888-CRIME-SC. And we're also following several other stories regarding COVID-19. We have an entire section to coronavirus news on our website. And you can see here, South Carolina LSU kickoff has been moved because of COVID-19 development. So next week's matchup between the UF, uh, University of South Carolina and Louisiana State will be a different time. They're going to kick off at 7 p.m. Eastern with a game airing on ESPN. Now before the shuffle, the game was slated to air on the SEC network at 4 p.m. But again, that's due to a lot of shuffling happening right now. And we have the entire schedule right here for the SEC and you can go to that again this is for the games on the 24th the 17th and the 30 31st so a lot of shuffling going on because of COVID-19 concerns now as I mentioned the other stories we're following all election related we have that countdown clock right here you can find your polling places in South Carolina North Carolina Georgia and also that's for in-person and absentee ballots and just a quick look at the US election project a very cool site here as of tonight 20 23 million people have already cast their ballots in reporting states and that's without some of these states reporting tonight. Now as far as locally look at that South Carolina has 451,000 votes already cast in this election in North Carolina 889,000 votes and down in Georgia already 1.1 million votes have been cast in the 2020 election. Of course, we'll keep you updated here at foxcarolina.com for any election news as it happens. But again, 17 days until people will be heading out to the polls. And I'll tell you, uh, this week's been pretty nice when it started off warm, very warm, actually. And we kind of cooled down gradually. And tonight, it is very fall-like out there, Kendra. It really is. I mean, as we talked about, the sun went down and it was just like, there we are. <laughs> Got cool. And it's going to be a very chilly start for the day on Saturday. We have a frost advisory in effect for Asheville and Hendersonville. Then you get up into the higher elevations, freeze warnings in effect across the mountains. No such advisories or warnings for the upstate as temperatures will be in the low 40s to start Saturday morning. But still, a few spots could see some frost, so just keep that in mind. It won't be everywhere, though. Mid-30s expected in western North Carolina. Throughout the day, expect a high of 63 with mostly sunny skies for the upstate. And in the mountains on Saturday, 60 with lots of sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful day and even more gorgeous, in my opinion, on Sunday. Of course, you'll want to check in tonight on the 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock newscasts and on the 10 o'clock news throughout this weekend and download the Fox Carolina app.